who's up for some locust kebab? While some may not think that sounds like the most appetizing dish, turning the tables on the voracious insects is just one of the novel ways that Kenyan scientists are exploring to tackle swamps that have devastated crops across East Africa. Christiana's Tanga is a researcher at the International Center of Insect Physiology and Ecology in Nairobi. If you go to some of those remote areas where the local swarms are actually uh, prevailing, a lot of people are, are eating them. So we think with this uh, background, we, we think it's something to promote so that a lot more people should engage in this, in this practice um, rather than um, shying away thinking that it is a primitive man's food. The number of low costs in East Africa exploded in the late 2019, flying west from Yemen and reaching so far this year Kenya, Somalia and Ethiopia. The World Bank estimates the cost to East Africa and Yemen this year could be 8.5 billion US dollars. Chemicals and pesticides used to control the swamps can damage other insects and the environment. So ICIPE scientists are exploring other environmental friendly options, including using locusts as human and animal food and biopesticides. ICIPE was part of a group that discovered an isolate for a fungus now used across the region that kills locusts without harming other creatures. Researchers are now pouring through 500 other fungi and microbes from another locust poison and they're also investigating scents. According to ICIPE research, before locusts can fly, they stay in a group due to the unique smell, which changes as they mature. By disseminating an adult smell, researchers think the long locusts will become disoriented and swarms will disintegrate, in turn leading the locusts to cannibalize each other. For locusts, their demise could be a case of eat or be eaten. <laughs> <laughs>